what's good with it, y'all? This is your girl, Shay. And y'all see what it's looking like outside right now in St. Louis? So I said, okay, baby, I got me some beef stew meat. I got me some vegetables, potatoes. You always keep you some chicken broth or beef broth in your cabinet. I said, baby, let me go on and throw this down. So I want y'all come into the kitchen with me because I'm about to make y'all a bowl. So right here, we got us uh, some stew meat. Lean, of course. So right now, I'm just going to open the package for y'all. And I'm about to clean my meat because y'all see that little blood at the bottom? We don't want that. You want to see your water become clear. Okay? So, yeah. It was a lot of meat in this package. So, I'm like, I ended up buying two, but I only really needed one. So, yeah, I'm just going to clean my meat thoroughly, you know, break up the big chunks of pieces. And I'm, like, so glad that it was already cut so I didn't have to do any extra chopping. And so then I'm just give me a clean bowl. <laughs> Y'all, I thought I had a little clear bowl so I can, you know, get a little razzle-dazzle in the kitchen. But I'm going to just use this bowl and get my meat. And we're going to season it up. Because what's meat if it ain't seasoned? You hear me? All right, now. So we're going to use some ground paprika. We're going to use some garlic powder. And y'all, I'm just seasoning this meat because we about to put it on the stove. Get you some onion powder. Can't forget the black pepper. And then I got me some Tony's Creole Season. Seasoned. Uh, I got me some Tony's Creole Season. That was a tongue twister right there. And y'all know I had to come through with the Zazoom. Okay, so I only used to have a packet of Zazoom right now. And then I couldn't remember if I added black paper or not, so I just put a little sprinkle on it. So you're gonna, um, you know, mix up your meat and get all your seasons on all the pieces of meat. And y'all, I forgot to add a little bit of flour to my meat because I wanted to create like a little roux to my meat, but it still came out good. So you wanna get you a skillet, put some little oil in there, and turn the temperature up because. We're not going to fully cook the meat. We just want to have some crustification on there. You know, give it a little a little extra. Get that little sear. So we're only going to cook it for a few minutes. Y'all see that? Do y'all see the juices flowing out that meat? So this is what it's going to look like. So you see I did not cook it all the way through. And I already preheated my crock pot to high. Because it's going to take a couple hours to cook. But, you know, it was raining. Your girl decided to get some extra Z's. And I was a little late. So, I already chopped me some fresh garlic and two small onions. Because, you know, we love our onions over here. Well, especially I do. So, as you can see, I almost burned my onions. But, you know, saute your onions down. And you're going to add them to your meat. So, right now, if I had already put the flour on my steak uh, cubes, then we would have had us a little roux right there. But you can see the meat still looking good, as it should. And then we're going to add us some beef broth. So at first, I added about three-fourths of the bottle. And this is low-sodium beef broth. So I only added about three-fourths of the container. You know, mix that around, you know, all good. It was smelling good already. So then I just got me a bag of red potatoes. And these were quite huge. So I took out five, but I only ended up using three. Because I kind of cut them into like medium bite-sized pieces. So right now I'm just going to wash them up. You know, you want to get all that excess dirt off. Yeah, girl, you already know. Y'all, look how good my camera quality is. Can y'all say that I have really outdone myself with the editing and the, well, not this camera angle, but we seen better. So then I got my cutting board right here, and I'm just about to chop away at these red potatoes. So at first, I was just going to chop them into four, but I was just like, mm, them is looking a little too big. So then, you know, I had to chop them other little pieces into halves again so i only used three potatoes and not five 
Because I was just like, I was trying to get my ratio to meat, potatoes, you know, kind of accurate. Because I'm just like, who wants to hold a bunch of potatoes and not enough meat? Like, get it together. Okay. Try my little knife skills. I mean, y'all, they my knife skills be tricky when I got long nails. But when I got short nails, baby, they be on point. So, all right. Y'all, and I've learned that you can always have potatoes in your house because you can use them for anything. So, I'm going to wash my potatoes off again. And then I'm going to put them in the pot. And then I was just like, mm, okay. I added the rest of the beef broth so that way I can cover the potatoes. And here's what it's looking like after maybe like an hour and a half, something like that. So then I go in here with my mixed vegetables. You can buy fresh vegetables and have bigger chunks, but I don't want bigger chunks of carrots or nothing like that. I thought this was just right. So then I got me some cornstarch and I'm just going to pour a little bit into this glass bowl. And then the key is to use some cold water to make you a slurry. Y'all heard slurry. Okay, y'all, I added a little too much water, so I went back in and put a little bit more cornstarch later. And it was doing what it was supposed to be doing. And so I got this recipe from, what is his name? Y'all, it's on the tip of my tongue. But I got this recipe from Oh Boy on YouTube, but I didn't add any bay leaf or no wine. I forgot to add tomato paste, so I went back in to add it. And actually, I didn't even need all that tomato paste because, as y'all can see, it's looking a little watery. So I'm like, it has to cook through so it can get a little thicker, you know, thick like me. Because, you know, that's the way my man likes me, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I didn't need all that tomato paste. And then I hit my homegirl T was like, um, my stew, my soup is looking a little too red it's starting to taste like a little too much tomato for me so she was just like girl just sprinkle you some little sugar in there to get rid of the acid and i was like mm, good idea so that's what i did and baby right here y'all see me stirring it right here so this is where i went back and i seasoned it so you need to taste your broth your juice your stew and see if it needs any more seasoning so i'm like i end up adding a little sugar i end up adding salt because i didn't use salt in the first place and i just went back with all my seasonings and seasoned it on through now i had to go to work so i had mystery man you know uh it was on high for about another hour then i just had him turn on warm so it can slow cook then i was just like baby you want some biscuits to go with your soup your stew he was like, baby, you already know I love some biscuits. I said, okay, let me just pop these in the air fryer, the flaky pull away. And y'all know my baby loves honey on his biscuits, his cornbread. So, you know, me and being the girlfriend that I am, I had to make it do what it do. Because he loves honey on me and not you. Okay? So, this is me about to make his bowl. Because he was like, baby, is the food ready? And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, you could have been eight, but you know, my like, he just wanted to wait until I get off work. So I'm just like, okay. So here's his bowl. I was picking around to make sure I just didn't give him a whole bunch of potatoes because I was just like, y'all potatoes is still looking a little too big. But baby, on a cold day like this where it's been raining and he had to go to work last night all in the rain, oh, uh, baby, you deserve this meal today, okay? You enjoy this meal while I got to go to work. And today is your day off, so you get to stay in here and eat the soup. So, matter of fact, pull up, y'all, so y'all can get y'all a plate, too. Hey, but Kia, why they sleeping on you so hard? Don't, don't give a fuck, I'm about to jump back in my go yard. That's that bitch that keep pulling out the front cars, put it in reverse to get your broke ass that jump start. I, I hit my dance on these bitches.